Historically, bikes have generally been something that you can upgrade later on. So if you bought a bike in 2015, a couple of years later, you saw a new fork that had arrived that you thought was pretty good, you'd be able to put it on your bike. The same with a group set or even something wireless. You can generally upgrade that frame. Not all the time because there has been some different standards that have been introduced, but it's pretty much been a decent thing because otherwise we're left with all these different proprietary standards that have no kind of compatibility together. So guess where we're at now with e-bikes? Nothing works together. Let me show you what I mean. This is a Fazua battery. Light and lightweight, but it'll only ever work in a Fazua based e-bike. This is a Bosch battery. They do different types of batteries. This is a vertical battery, and it will only ever work in a Bosch frame that takes vertical batteries. This is a SRAM battery. SRAM's cool new system that came out actually uses the Bros motor, but they've made their own battery. And this will only ever work with that particular SRAM e-bike. The batteries definitely don't work in other frames. The motors, they all have different motor mount systems. This is a range extender. It will only work and connect to specialized bikes. It's got a different type of plug from any other brand. This is a TQ range extender. Guess what? Different plug, only ever work with TQ. And this is a giant one. Even though they use the Yamaha system, it won't work with Yamaha bikes because it's got Giant's own proprietary port on it. Nothing is compatible with one another. The charges do not work in other brands. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different chargers that all do exactly the same thing. They just charge e-bikes. So across these bike brands and frames, nothing works. Like none of the charges work across different bike brands or motor brands. The motor mounts are completely different. The batteries definitely do not work. So we've got this crazy amount of proprietary stuff at the moment that is being released with each e-bike. So I get it from a business perspective. Brands want people locked into their own ecosystem, whether it's a Bosch ecosystem, a Bros, a Yamaha, Shimano, Fazua, TQ. There's loads of different bike brands out there and they're all kind of in this technological arms race to bring out better systems. So not only do we have this situation where nothing is interchangeable, nothing works together, within each brand, there's also this kind of obsolescence piece that happens over time. Let me share with you a couple of specific examples. Now, this is not to hit on any brand because they pretty much all do it. A couple of years ago, Bosch released a new smart system motor. The bolt pattern was identical to the previous version, but because of some internal electronic changes, nothing was backwards compatible. So if you owned any of the older stuff, you couldn't take advantage of any of the new kind of Bluetooth controllers or anything like that. They said they had to do that to make a step forward, but nothing was backwards compatible. Shimano had an EP8 motor, and then they recently released the EP801. Nothing on that is backwards compatible. Even the batteries that are exactly the same shape and fit they just don't work with the older system. So even within the own brand of manufacture, we have these systems that are not backwards compatible. Now, Specialized have just released a new SL motor. It's a super light, quieter, more powerful motor that has exactly the same bolt pattern and physically will fit in the older bike. But they won't sell it and it won't work if you even try and do it because it needs these kind of firmware updates. So I've got a really cool new frame here that I'm going to build up and it will take any fork. It will take a Fox, it will take a RockShox, it will take a 34, a 36, a 38 from any brand. Brilliant. So although there's loads of traditional parts that will fit on this, I can't use any other brand's motor, any other brand's battery or even charger for this. So what happens to this in a few years when they bring out a new version, a new motor? So we've got two issues here. Firstly, we've got proprietary systems. We've got all of these brands trying to bring a point of difference to the market, which I understand all the brands want a competitive advantage, but that brings out all of these different systems, all of these proprietary chargers, the range extenders, the batteries. None of this works with different brands. And this is not good enough. I think there needs to be a standard that we stick to. And there is some kind of future upgrade path, at least for buyers when they buy a new bike. The second thing is backwards compatibility. Now, what if Bosch bring out a new motor system next year? 
and a new battery system and none of it is backwards compatible and you can't buy these things you can't go to a bike shop and buy a motor because they're all sold as a complete package a frame motor and battery and i think this is introducing a lot of concern with people buying bikes do you remember if you bought a laptop many years ago Next month, it was already out date because the pace of innovation was so rapid and the technological advances were really quick that you would be rapidly outdated. That's what we're facing with e-bikes. And e-bikes aren't cheap. If you lay down eight, nine, ten grand on a bike and in three months time, there's a new system that has superseded what you've got and is better and you have no way of fitting that to your bike. That really does suck. And what about the green and sustainability aspects of it? Now, e-biking is cleaner than driving a combustion engine car, commuting on it. But what happens when a brand brings out a brilliant new system that doesn't work with your existing frame? So we're introducing all this new technology, but with no clear upgrade path and just leaving people a little bit disappointed that their £10,000 e-bike in six months time could be outdated. So this is not to point fingers at any particular brand or manufacturer because everyone is doing their own thing and they're all doing incredible work, but this needs to be better. So maybe some easy wins. Let's just have a charging standard. Let's have one particular charger that can work across all the different bikes, easy. Let's have a motor standard bolt pattern that makes it easier for consumers to upgrade and get different motors, but also much easier for frame designers. It must be really difficult if you're a frame designer choosing which brand to go with, because if you get it wrong, that means that that brand, that motor brand might be slightly out of favor and you've just laid down hundreds of thousands into mold and R&D and that motor might be a bit rubbish compared to something else. And you've ended up with a bike with a motor in it that no one wants and because they can't upgrade it, they're not gonna buy the bike. So how about we have a standard for motor bolt patterns? So they all share the same standard and a bit like UDH, there's a derailleur hanger standard. What about a UBS, a universal bolt standard for motors? That would make complete sense. And when it comes to batteries, really there's no excuse to have all these different versions of batteries. They're all fitting into a down tube of a mountain bike, which is a constrained space. Let's not make 30 different versions of the same thing that have no benefit to anything other than that one particular bike frame. Now I know there's different standards and different voltages and all that kind of stuff, but I think we can do much better than what we've got at the moment. So to motor manufacturers, let's have collaboration instead of competition. So let's make this better for everybody from bike brands that are designing these bikes and have the challenges how to fit all the different systems together and the end consumer. Let's not end up with 20 different batteries, 20 different chargers, 20 different motors, and let's have some kind of electronic upgrade path. So when a new motor comes out, it can be fit to the millions of e-bikes that are sold every year because designing new bolt patterns and new standards and new batteries absolutely sucks for everybody. The consumer, the brands, the environment, it's just not good enough and it needs to be better. Sorry for the rant, but I've been wanting to do this video for quite some time. And again, this is not to call out any brand or any of the great people that are working in the industry. This is about raising the conversation, making it better, coming up with collaboration, not competition, and basically everybody wins.